Greetings! Blazely Dragon here with his beautiful wife. Hello! What are we calling you in the videos? Alex, my name. Is that what we called you in the last one? I don't, yeah, that's what I go by. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know if you went to a spiritual name like me. No. So, I have a cat! <laughs> I have a video response for you. And a cat. And a cat. No, stay here. And to get to get. And he meow, meow, meows, and he meows, meow, meows. And. Purr, purr, purrs. Is this going to load while I'm uploading a video? I don't know. I don't know either. Hi. Where's, where's my video? Is this it? Wow, I've gotten a lot of messages since then. Aren't we supposed to be doing a different video? No, we're doing the video response to Shadow. I told you about this, remember? But aren't we recording? We are recording. So why are we looking at that? Because I'm going to read this, and then we're going to do the response to it. Okay. You need to get with the program. I guess, yeah. I will fire you from this free webcasting thingies that we do. Okay. People will get mad. <clears throat> they like me. <laughs> As opposed to me. Actually, my last few videos might make me not very popular. We have no AC. He's very angry. And <laughs> I'm like, we all are. That's probably, probably a disturbing face. face. Yeah. yeah. I'll have nightmares. Um, so. It's broken. <clears throat> what's broken? My clip. I'm oh. sorry. Well, if you keep twisting, it's going to break. Anyway. Thank you. I appreciate the I'll donation. I'll pick it up. Speaking of donations, I recently received a donation after I bitched, complained, and moaned on my rant, which she laughed her ass off about. That's pretty funny. Because I said I'm not getting paid for this, and somebody actually donated a dollar, and I really appreciate that. So thank you. Uh, your donation was not overlooked, and every... Every bit of donation is appreciated. So that's why I have a dollar all the way up to, I think, a hundred. Hey, I can be hopeful, right? So, video response to a message. I was just wondering if you're making faces. You're talking to your hair club. Okay. I'm not talking. So, I'm looking at it. You're making it open and close like it's talking to you. Maybe it's well, talking. It <laughs> Maybe it's talking to me. So, Shadows Dark Wings. about to be eaten. Shadow, one of my friends, who I enjoy talking to, has a great Ning website, which uh, I don't know if he wants me to announce his website or not, so I guess I won't. Uh, I'm going to read his message, and then we are going to talk about his message, and she's never heard it, so I have talked about... That's fine, read it. Um, that's what I'm sitting here for. She wants me to shut up and start reading. Yeah. Dude, I'm finding after three years of being on Forest and all the Pagan slash Wiccan I run into are really not interested in learning their path. We, as you have men, I'm sorry, we, as you have members on our site with three generations of taught information that came through that lifelong battle they had to hide their path to keep it alive till now. And now that it has a chance to make its own place in this world, I'm afraid to say this new generation, all they care about is the path to abuse it for its magic, most of them. I have seen it too much on my site. You give email, they need to read and study, and they don't even bother. We know things are with intent no matter what you use. They come on saying they want to learn, but yet ask for a spell first thing. I tell them you don't need a spell to ward off anything. Just don't give it power. Shield yourself, which is very powerful. And that wasn't an, I, I looked up because I stopped reading. Um, and that if they want to learn about their path to be dedicated, then read the material. I will say only 8 out of 10 will even make it past the chat when they can't find a spell. They will simply leave to not come back. I am very disappointed when some t something has a chance to evolve and the new generation have no care for what's been passed on since its beginning. Matter of fact, I am more of a light worker than I am anything, and of all the pagans and wiccans on my site, I was the only one who posted Beltane material. To me, that was kind of wild and sad at the same time. I was just going to say, that's very sad. Mm -hmm. So what do you see in these paths, in the directions they are headed? Will this new generation just let it go? I know are several older dedicated to their path, but you yourself have seen the odds in that, I'm sure. I gave them outlets to study all around this. So what's going on, dude? Peace, Shadow. First of all, Shadow, that was a really cool long message, and you make a lot of excellent points. 
So, would you like to start in? What do you think is going to happen with the next generation? What do you think about all these people? Give me a spell. The next generation is going to kill us all. Because <laughs> they're idiots. Point blank and period. Why are they idiots? That's all they want is a spell. They want the power. They want the greed. They want... And I think anybody who's desiring that kind of stuff all the time, it's, it leads to destruction. Whether it's destruction of themselves or they're going to screw us all in the end and we're all going to be screwed. You know, but yeah. Can you tell us your impression they're... on magic the one that you always use with me when you argue about using the term magic for spiritual energy don't i call it spiritual energy yes and when what i are you, what are you trying to what <laughs> the reference to that movie what movie the she crap? said she's tired of all the harry potter crap oh yeah the harry potter harry potter bs yeah well because so, everybody's trying to you know, they see a movie and they're like, oh, we should cast spells. Or they... Well, actually, so the Harry Potter reference was more for the, um, like... Not, I, I can't say, like, everybody, but, you know, it does the theatrical stuff, like, you know... The theatrical stuff, you know, they do it more for show. And they don't take it seriously and don't try to find, like, inner spirituality or find inner peace with it. They just do it for... I guess in their heads it's to be cool. But. And did you see how effective that was? The light moved when she did the theatricals. Sorry, I had to. But, so, what do you think? If if there is... A, I think we need air conditioning. Yeah. If there is a entity in somebody's house... Right. How would they get rid of it? Do they have to cast a huge spell? Do they have to throw on the robes, salt, go to the hollow nine yards? Or, Absolutely well, not. What would you recommend? I would just focus in on your own energy and talk to the thing and tell it to get the hell out. And if that doesn't work, then maybe use some salt. I mean, I don't think it's necessary to use all that stuff. I think if you're, quote unquote, powerful enough or strong enough in your ability or f have faith enough or any of the above, you can get rid of whatever you want to get rid of in your life. I completely agree. And this is uh, kind of uh, make a reference to cooking. If you're spreading butter on bread. I don't like the way that looks. I'm sorry. Go ahead. If you're spreading butter. butter on bread, you don't use a butcher's knife or a cleaver. <laughs> well, I do when there's no clean butter knives. <laughs> Point being like, is that's, that's where weird. years of experience and practice come into play. That's why it's good to have a teacher. So, Well, and the whole spell stuff, too, it's like I don't see the point of people saying, like, I mean, as soon as, like, they get into something and the first thing, I want to do a spell. Why? Why do you have to have that desire of... And it's always a spell to bring them something. It's like, well, what if you don't deserve it? What if in this lifetime you, you were given what you're given because that is what you, you either chose for this lifetime or what you need to learn from in this lifetime? Or, you know, it's just to me that's greedy to ask for money or for love or to, you know, or whatever. I Because I've never, I never ask for something that I really don't need. I mean, you look at people in India, how they live, and you look how we live here. We, we're so spoiled so spoiled i mean and humans should just live by necessities that i mean well i don't know i can't even say that because i do like my jewelry and stuff but you know what i mean like you know the basic necessities you don't have to sit there all the time and want money or want spells for all this stuff and and it just to me it's very powerful and very greedy in there or at least it makes them seem that way but because they never seem to want to try to do anything else they just want to be this powerful thing and then see power hits the lamp you know, but, and if they don't get that, then they run around in theatricals going, I'm Harry Potter, and boom, you're dead, you know, you're whatever, you're a frog, I don't know. I don't think they did frogs, they did a weasel. I don't remember, I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. I just, uh, and that's the other thing that's all messed up about it, it's like, people want to claim these titles and jump into stuff, and they want to be part of a community, but they never get together. Yeah. We had that issue quite a few times, trying to get a pagan community to, to come together. I don't know how our one friend does it. I won't mention her because I don't want to mention her because she doesn't give permission. You yeah. know, I don't want any weird things, but I don't know how she gets even 10 people in the same room. And she's done it. <laughs> she's gotten more than that, but yeah, I don't know. Nobody wants to. And then when we did get people together, the few that we did, they all sat around. Oh, I can't tell you what I know. Why not? It's a secret. Why? I never, never had them say that to me, but... The couple that used to... 
I remember that individual, he did, but... The, yeah, she said that too once to me. But uh, either she, way, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's like, why are you going to come to a community to learn from each other and be together and to worship together and to share together, but then go, oh, I can't do anything. I can't share anything. Okay, obviously you lack confidence, so it's like, if you don't have the confidence... Why can't you talk to me? I mean, you can talk to me about the Harry Potter movie, but you can't talk to me about whatever you know or believe in, so. Yeah, I just, uh. Wow, really? They can't see me that well on the video, and I'm hot. I'm burning up. Anyway, thanks for pointing it out as I tactfully. But you can see it! Oh, hush up and talk. Anyway. So, it's burning up. I removed my shirt. So she's like, really? You're going to remove your shirt on YouTube? So, uh. Oh, I just think that's rude. <laughs> so anyway uh we uh tried to do spiritual groups a few times i've tried to do three and uh my wife participated in one with me and two ish well yeah you kind of gave up halfway through the second one you just well done. those again because those were the next generation the ignorant dumbasses that just don't i'm sorry <laughs> what if one of them watches this i know but anyway it's just sorry. i'm a bad woman some of you have expressed an interest in learning from me or thought it would be cool to go to one of my seminars or classes and I actually had a group that I was leading and they stopped coming people have no interest in hearing what I have to say that's why I turned to YouTube because if oh, I post poor, it, poor guy, nobody would come to your group I do that with that mm. oh, I wish you had it's supposed to be because we're theatrical Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, yeah. So, so what else would you like to talk about or mention? I mean, I guess that was some of the main points. What else did we talk about? We had an interesting conversation. I, don't know, I think not even the next. Well, I want to say something about your next generation thing. I think the, I don't think it's headed in a good direction. And the main reason is not just. And this is looking at the next generation overall, not just with their spirituality. They're spoiled. They're disrespectful. They don't care about anything but themselves. And this might be being a little judgmental, but I mean, it's it's what I see. The kids or the people that are 10 years younger than, than I, and it just, they don't care. They're out for themselves. I'm not saying all of them. I'm sure there's some really good people and good children out there, but a lot of them are just out for themselves. And the, the thing that we teach next generations is apparently not the right stuff if you're looking at the way the next generations are acting when it comes to spirituality and to even the way they live their life. I mean, I'm talking all aspects here, not just even spiritual stuff. But and it's yeah. just scary. I mean, I'm scared that when I'm 60, I just, I'm scared <laughs> of all kinds of crap from the next generation. Even my old teachers from, from high school. And they, they say each generation's getting dumber and worse. And I mean, the fact that they're noticing it, I mean, that just blew me away. I mean, it's, they, they just don't care. All they want to do is fight and do stupid crap to hurt others. And I think that plays into when they actually start looking for spirituality. They just want to do spells. And they get so pissed off when they don't get the spells, you know. Or they or freak out when it actually works. Yeah, they freak out when it works. Or and or they don't know how to close crap properly or fix stuff. That's what we were talking about the other day is how that when people... They want all this stuff, and they want all this power, and they want all this ability, and they want all this knowledge and traditions, and once they start doing it, they go, ah, and run the other way. And it's like, what did you expect? <laughs> if you're going to yeah. call upon the spirit of goobly goo, I mean, he's going to pop up. <laughs> I mean, it's possibly. So, but yeah, that's, that's, yeah. I don't know if that answers your question. It does, and I... I think there's rare few gems, though, still in the next generation that could maybe turn things around, but people, humans in general, just love to be right, and they love to be, you know, powerful, and they love to be, oh, I can do this, because all of us always have that self-doubt and that lack of confidence... And of course, that could go back to the way we raise ourselves in societies about how there's so much pressure. You should be this way. You should be that way. You need to be successful. Blah, 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 blah. And I think that all plays into, eventually ties into your spirituality too, how you perceive it and how you act with it. And every, yeah. I don't know if I made sense or not because I have too many thoughts in my head now. You're fine. Get them out one at a time. Yeah, I just... comes down to, once again, to Shadow's questions. It... 
next generation is going to be hit or miss. I think there's going to be a few that are going to keep it alive, but everything is getting muddled together into random definitions of what that particular individual feels like calling it that day. It seems like people want to bend stuff to their will. No one wants to become dedicated and follow a tradition or a path anymore. You know, it's like they don't want to stick with it. I think it. that also goes with, like, people really love labels. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's why people are so against trying to stick with one tradition is because they don't want to be labeled because we're always so forced to label everything. But on the reverse side of that, a lot of them want to label themselves and then just not follow the tradition. Well, there's that too. Just can't win. We should move to Iowa. Why? Or is it Idaho? There's a spiritual town somewhere out there. Yeah. They've got that meditation thing for a day. Oh, yeah, that place. I don't remember where it's at either. Still, that creeps me out, though. It kind of reminds me of a cult. The whole yeah. town and community is almost self-sufficient, and they have meditation hour where, like, everybody it's all not around... It's like self-sufficient. It's not like they... I mean, it's a regular town. Anyway, but they all stop and they meditate together in this big temple-y thingy. And dome. Dome. Yeah. Dome. Da-dome-dome. Dome. was pretty interesting and cool. So, uh, I guess that kind of answers your question, Shadow, and kind of how we feel about it for the most part. I just think that there's going to be promising people. There's going to be some people that take it seriously, but a lot of I people think, just don't. Yeah. Every so. once in a while you get that rare gem that pops in there. Like our one friend here, I won't mention her name. Yeah. She was from the group. And yeah. I mean... She's telling me. She's like one she of my best friends. Me, so. Yeah. But. Oh, her too. Yeah. Who else are you talking about? The other one. What other one? The one with the short hair. I don't know the one with the short hair. Short hair and glasses? You're talking about the one with the long hair. That's one of your best friends. Yeah. You're talking about the one with the short hair and glasses. Do I know her? Who? Oh! <laughs> no, like... Okay, yeah, her I think too. she was an exception. I was impressed. Yeah, no, I was too. I forgot about her. How could you forget? I'm sorry. <sighs> so apparently that's... Anyway, point well, being... Well, the other one's more of a friend to me. Yes, I but guess. she's not part of the new generation. She's old generation. Because we're old generation. I guess we are. We're middle, middle generation. Yeah. <laughs> we're in between. Yeah. But, uh, so if you have any more questions or want opinions or hear us to talk and ramble in circles and... She didn't interrupt me this time. Oh, it was so good. But uh, no, so no. we don't you start. Uh, but yeah, so next generation, it's just going to come down to individuals. And the worst part about it is the ones that are going to stand out the most and actually do and practice and dedicate themselves are going to be lost and muddled in the confusion of the random individual that just wants to do it just for a fad or to look cool. I mean, because the thing that drives me the nuts the most uh, that we watch... <laughs> drives me the nuts <laughs> the most. <laughs> drives me nuts the most. <laughs> good. <laughs> Glad I entertain you. Thanks for pointing out all my speaking and flaws. I don't speak good English. So anyway, uh, we were watching this video. Oprah Winfrey went to India. And when they come, when they come, when she comes over there, when she went over there, I can't speak. When they come to your home... I am fired. I'm hot. I'm burning up. So, when they come over to your home, you say namaste, bow, and put flowers around them, and I think they kiss them on the cheek, too, and things well, like they that. They seem like different tra traditions wherever she went. Point being but is either people way you welcome just them do it. When you you know? them with flowers. How many people out there, and this is just kind of a general challenge to people, how many of you, whether you're trained or not trained, feel comfortable doing it in front of other people? I mean, a lot of you are, this is your path, this is who you are. Are you confident enough to just do it in the middle of the street? A lot of you might say, oh, well, it's sacred and special to me. That might be the case, but I see tons of people showing off their altar. How are you going to sit here and show off your altar but be too skittish to do it in front of other people, even if the people claim the same tradition as you? I mean, you have the chance for community and getting together, and you're, you're not doing it. I, I can say I get the fear behind not wanting to express stuff. I mean, because I was even afraid to start wearing a bindi. <clears throat> Excuse me, a bindi, because I was afraid I would offend the people from India. I was afraid of what, you know, family would say, you know, but then I just went, who the hell cares? I don't know why I'm thinking this crap again, because I've already gone through this before. I'm going to wear it anyway, because I like its meaning. It means something to me. I'm just going to do it. So it's not necessarily the same thing as actually doing like a spell or something in front of the world, but... I mean, even for that Lugnazda thing we went to, how you and I were the only people that said anything from the holiday, basically. 
That's the point. Like, I'm... that dealt with the actual spiritual sense of the holiday, and, I mean... But that's my point. That's what I'm trying to get to. You felt awkward about the bindi at first, because you were new. But you right. grew out of that. I grew out of it. And I'm but not it's saying... the same thing with that thing I said. You know, I was yeah. nervous, because you're yeah. always nervous when you're speaking. Hell, I'm nervous now, talking to whoever's going to be watching me, and I don't even know who's watching me. But, you know, this feels like a weird speech class, too, you know, but... It, the point is, is that I still did it because it meant something to me. So if it means so much to you, that's where I don't. That's where I get lost with. I get the whole lack of confidence thing, but I don't get it to where if you are so passionate and so into your spirituality and your faith and your religion, why you can't be happy and joyous enough to express it when you know the people around you are okay with that. And like I said, that's the point that I was trying to get to. I'm not saying that people should go put their altar in the middle of the street and perform it for people on the side road. Right. What I'm yeah. saying... <laughs> Look, candles! <laughs> yeah, like, but what I'm saying is when you're gathered with a group for a celebration and a holiday, and you can't say anything at all. We had this one, like you said, for Lunasan, and uh, we had this fire, and it was in a grill at a it? park. Lugnazda, Lunasan, I've heard... That's it's a different language. We don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> And that's the thing, you know, it's how, like, yeah. we're celebrating life and the seasons, and we don't even do it all the time. Half the time when we do a holiday, it's just a spending time together and acknowledging it. But my point is, if you feel it's so a necessity of learning exactly what herbs and candles and stuff to do, and it all has to be so specific and precise, yet you can't do that function in front of someone else, then why are you doing it? I mean, all the other, look, look at Christianity and look at Christ Mass and... You know, when people get together for it, they have these, you know, traditions and chiming glasses and singing songs. And, you know, some people are very uncomfortable singing, but they'll sing the carols and things like that. And they'll get together and it's have a eggnog. Of that holiday. Exactly. But they're all comfortable in doing it. They don't right. feel like it's awkward, but that's right. what you have to do for Christmas. That's what they do. I celebrated Diwali for the first time by myself this year, and I felt completely at home with it, actually, which was awesome. But, and if we had but the first year that I went to go see a Diwali celebration, I was a little nervous. I didn't know traditions very well. I didn't know what, what was it about, you know, what was going to, you know, I didn't know. But afterwards, it was just the most comfortable thing, even the first time I did a Div celebrate Diwali. But. So if you're with your friends and you're all supposed to be of the same spiritual path and preference and you're celebrating one of the sabbats or holidays, why do you feel drawn back or reserved? Are you afraid they're going to judge you are going to be incorrect if you're that confident that you get to claim that title how are you going to sit here and turn around and be too afraid to do it in front of others and if if you are uncomfortable doing it and you only have to do it alone there's got to be some uncomfortableness going through the motions that's you know that's why we don't always do a lot of going through the motions if it doesn't mean something we're not comfortable doing it obviously it's not meant to be done by us or at least that's how i feel about it yeah <laughs> I don't know what, you, what. I was just... if it's not comfortable don't do it <laughs> you know, like, so. if it's not comfortable don't pre don't preach that you do it <laughs> if it's... yeah that's fun it is I like celebrating anything I'll go through almost any holiday <laughs> I don't care what yeah as long as there's food and wine and good friends <laughs> yeah she gives me crap for being childish and not wanting to have anything to do with the national holidays or Christian holidays or we're going to call them. I love presents, so I'll do any holiday. <laughs> if they have presents. Well, maybe not any holiday. I'm not going to do like a holiday that sacrifices cats or something. That would be wrong. But you know what yeah. I'm saying. Which is another funny thing is that I like how all these people are like, oh, well, you can't harm people and you can't do bad things and sacrificing is wrong and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, what the fuck ever? First and foremost... It's it's not all fluff, funny fluff stuff. There's good and dark sides to everything. And second of all, the whole sacrificing thing was done by almost every religion and culture around the world. The Catholics freaking sacrifice shit. The Druids sacrifice shit. And people don't want to hear that. No, we've never... Yes, you have. Your fucking people you want to be associated with used to do that. It's a dead practice, but it was done. And even today, sacrificing is done, even if it's not of actual people and... Uh, Blood. Actually, some people still do blood sacrifices, but a lot of people will do sacrifices of herbs or, you know, wheat, grain, things like that. So it's like people still do sacrifice, and people act like it's such a bad thing. 
You know, it's like consuming corpses and blood, and everyone's like, oh, that's so wrong and evil. Well, you do it freaking daily. You go eat I chicken. Put that's flowers corpse. and fruits in front of the deities yeah. as an offering, which is like a sacrifice. My like, screen went into screen saver mode. Oh. Video is 25 minutes. Yeah, I think we're totally off topic now. Sort of. No, because we a were little. talking about the next generation. Well, I mean, wasn't it supposed to be like a simple answer video? My last simple answer video ended up being like 35 minutes or whatever, so. You like to talk. I do. I like to hear myself speak, too. I like watch the videos like over and over again, and my wife's like, really? You just watch that? You watch that again? And then I'll make her watch, and she'll be like, you've said that before in like the last 10 videos. Wow, your face looks really weird when you do that. It's moments like this where I ask myself why. Why well, would? She was drunk. Did drink a little on her wedding day. Yeah. Drank more after I did it. <laughs> Not helping me much. <laughs> no. Some people think hey, I'm a puppy. Oh, I have a message. Is this one from YouTube? No. Why It'd would be kind of creepy. YouTube? Because we're still recording, we haven't uploaded it. It would be like visions from the future. Oh lord, my phone isn't that cool yet. <laughs> That wouldn't be cool. It'd freak you out, and you know it would. It would. So do we want to really say? Would. Do we want to say anything that else? That stuff's creepy. That should be a separate video. Do we, Do we want to say anything else about the next generation, or in answers or responses, or? Not all the idiot children are idiot children. <laughs> the future generation. See, is he also just talking about people that are kids or just adults? He's talk, he said both. Both. Yeah, and he was okay. talking about either one keeping on the next generation. Yeah, I just think people just don't. I think they're just out for themselves more nowadays, because it's the Kali Yuga. We're living in crappy times. So. Yeah. <laughs> but and I, I want to say something else. Really, not really quick. What am I talking about? This is probably turn into an out of our, out of our video. Uh, I want to say something about magic. You know, it's like all these people that want to run around and grab spells. Want spells? Want spells? I have a few things to say about spells. First and foremost, spells can enhance, but are not necessity. And spells are like music. You can't just pound on drums or the keyboard. You have to be able to know your tunes and sounds. And you don't always need to play a symphony every time you're in the mood for music. And it's just, it seems like everyone wants to grab all these spells and it doesn't work. It's like, well, if you don't know how to put your energy behind it and you don't know how to work with stuff, of course it's not going to work. And all of these paths, just because they accept magic, doesn't mean you have to do magic and magic has to be done regularly. I can't remember the last time I even attempted to do a spell. I remember mine. How long ago was it? What year are we in? 2000. 2012. I almost said 14. Um, how? Okay, so maybe 2004 or 2005 was when I, I did one. I th well, the last one I actually... Let's see, I wouldn't even consider that a full spell with the tornado that I made not happen. Oh, yeah, we did have that storm. Before. Yeah. But that was like... wasn't really even a spell. It was just going out and focusing my energy. Sending my intent out there. So it's like... My point is, my it's like... My official one was about 04. But that's I don't point. find the necessity for them. And that's the thing. Because if you're so connected to deity, can't you just send the energy out to deity and then that will help... will send it in the universe? Or yeah. even send it to the universe and it'll hit deity and everything else and see what comes back? I think it's kind of like driving or a lighter. When you first get to turn on a lighter, it's like, fire! Cool! And you keep playing with it. Eventually, you don't feel a necessity to flick the lighter constantly. Or driving. You eventually get sick of driving, but at first you want to be behind the wheel all the time. And that's the point I'm trying to make with magic and spells and stuff like that for people. It, it's You don't gain extra power. You just learn to use the abilities you already have. You don't get something extra by claiming these titles or these paths or trying to find a spell. Until you learn the fundamentals of what a spell is and how it works and how to write your own, you're not going to have very effective spells anyway. So, that's my opinion. I think we covered everything. My wife's bored, so. I'm not bored. I'm just tired. I've worked all day. Yeah. Closing comments? I don't know. Just most people and humans are just not, I think, where they should be. That might be judgmental or arrogant to say, but they haven't proven me otherwise on how they treat each other and how they act. So I think the future generations of anything is kind of gone, <clears throat> whether it comes to the spirituality or anything else. 
So I made my closing comment, she made hers. I guess we're done. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's something else I should say. I know. That's why it drags on for so long. 30 minutes now. No one's no, going to watch I'm it. Done. No song. one's going to watch it this long. They're not even going to see the ending part. <laughs> should I do my vet joke? What vet joke? Do you know a vet? No. Do you know yeah. a vet? I need to know a vet. Because these pythons are sick. Oh, oh yeah. That was funny. <laughs> the first she, time she, I, yeah, not, I laughed not my butt off. Yeah. I'm tired. She didn't expect it. It was pretty funny. No, I didn't. It was a lot louder, too. It kind of startled me at the time. Don't yeah. do it loud. It'll hurt my head now. Nothing says true love. Like, honey, don't talk. You hurt me. <laughs> well, at least you know. You know. This like, is true. Something. At least I'm honest about it. But... So yeah, if you want more opinions or ramblings... I want to know if anybody watches the videos this long. Oh, yeah. You Post know? a comment. Tell us what your thoughts are. You know? It's like... Because a lot of people seem like... On any YouTube video, they watch like five seconds and they go on this binting, binting, bitching rampage. Which is another thing about the generation. They just jump automatically to a fight or to a bitching frenzy. And they don't even listen to the whole thing. And then when they do listen, they're not really listening. They're hearing what they want to hear. And that's the turn does the binting, ra binting, bitching rampage. Why can I not say that word? But, yeah. that Maybe that's what I was missing. I feel more complete now that I've said that. Yeah, that does feel more like it needed to be said. And that's the truth. I've had people respond to my videos and it's like, did you watch the whole fucking video before you started blah, 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 blah? And I want to hear your opinions. I'm not telling you not to. Just watch the video. Yeah. Jeez, this, these are opinions. It's like, how, it's... how are you going to jump on somebody and attack them if you didn't even watch the whole thing to hear the point? And then if you're going to watch the whole thing and not get it, you're one of those people. Yeah. <laughs> like, and actually... Oh, it's not what I mean. I love it. No, like, there, there's actually a, uh, a I'm Google, I'm Google web hangout thing where people can video chat and it records everyone. And Well, with a device, you can That's record it. That's kind of nifty. And I was thinking... But seriously, I'd like to know who saw this part. I would too, but you know, I'm saying that I wonder when they stop watching the video. Go ahead. I'm trying to invite people to get on the hangout with us and talk. And we'll record it and put it on YouTube if people want to share their thoughts. So, But yeah, let us know what you thought. You know, put responses. Who actually watched 32 minutes of this? Was this wasting your time? You know, what is your opinion? Put us on in the background. It would be like yeah. fun noise. How excited were you when I took my shirt off? <sighs> so bad. So. That stopped her there. Yes, I got her to shut up. Is that good Excuse that that me? made you stop? Why, do you, why should I shut up? No, but I'm just saying it made you stop when I said that. I, what was I supposed to say? She was she was dumbfounded by my stupidity. <laughs> anyway, turn it off. I gotta go make jewelry. Okay. Or something. I gotta go do something. I got crap to do. <laughs> okay. Bye.